Short Sands Beach, site of the Galleon Wreck. Material around here is found all over. When the uh, beach banks up like this and gets this like steeper bank down into this little rip line, it'll get down into the gravel sometimes and start picking up a lot more porcelain shards out of the gravels that are deposited under the sand. As the summer uh, progresses from spring, it usually pushes a lot of sand in here and banks it up like this. As the storms start to come in through the winter, they pull all this sand back out over the shore, or offshore, I mean, over top of the wreck site, burying it, kind of preserving it from the storms. And then in the summertime, when the sand gets a little pushed in off of it, although there's sand continuously covering it as it comes in, but it does get down low enough sometimes to expose material that when we have a little bit of a larger swell in the next like couple days uh, than what we have going on right now, it'll push some of that debris in from out farther. Generally, this beach has a tendency to pull stuff off of it in the big storms, pull all this sand back out, but sometimes it'll wash out the porcelain and and keep pushing it back up because it's semi buoyant from the uh, little microscopic bubbles that are trapped in it. Right over there, center picture. Found all the wooden beams to the rack that were pushed into the cave. Beautiful morning down here. A couple surfers headed out to go catch the waves. The sand is pushed in a lot heavier this year than other years. And it's extending out past the far south cave, which I've never been able to walk into the cave on the sand before. It's always a channel of water you have to scurry around on the rocks and cliff so I'm wondering if a lot of sand has been pushed in off the wreck and it's very, very exposed or has there been a lot of sand just generally pushing in from the ocean kind of covering it up as well and continues to be fairly shallow out there but I, I believe the drop off point right about there at the surf break, it's pretty deep behind that. Generally, I'd be really fascinated to bring my boat in here if the weather permits and check this type of beach setup sand scenario out. If not this year, maybe it'll do the same thing next year. It's definitely a little more extreme this year than others.